Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, and there are exciting things going on in the world of Pokemon. Uh, I didn't actually see the Direct, but I've heard what happened from afterwards. Apparently they're putting out an update, like a, an expansion pack sort of thing to Poke Pokemon Swoosh, that adds in, a adds in a whole bunch of the Pokemon that are missing, and adds some new, like, I think, I think a new gym leader maybe? I'm not really sure of the details, but they're doing an expansion pack to Pokemon Swoosh, which is much better than having, you know, Pokemon Ultra Swoosh that you have to buy again in like half a year or whatever. So that's cool. Um, I'll be getting that when it's available. I don't think it is yet. And also they're porting Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team to the Switch, which is exciting. Um, I think I played a Red Rescue Team on the uh, Game Boy Advance, which is the original version of the game. Um, there was also Blue Rescue Team on the DS. I don't think I played that one. I think I just played Red Rescue Team. I didn't play that much of it either. Um, but yeah, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is a Pokemon-themed version of the Mystery Dungeon games, which are basically a, a roguelike series. Um, yeah, they're, yeah, they're roguelike games, which is interesting. Um, they're, I guess, roguelite. They don't have permadeath as such, but... Yeah, that they're sort sort of the same genre apart from that. Um, and yeah, this, the um Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX, which I assume means Deluxe, is not out yet. Uh, but this demo is out, and I'm gonna have a look at it and see if it's good. Yay! <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I I did play Red Rescue Team. I didn't play Blue. I didn't I didn't play much of Red Rescue Team either. Like I didn't really get into it. But we'll see how we go with this one. Um, I do like roguelikes, um, I've been playing Pocket Dungeon or something like that on my phone recently, which is similar. <laughs> uh, language you want to play, and you can't change the setting later, that's a bit weird. English, French, German, Spanish, Italian, Japanese. For some reason these are all written in English instead of having the correct native name for these languages, which is weird. Uh, you know, it should be, uh, Deutsch and, um, Espanol and, um, Italiano, I think, and Nihongo, and it should be written, you know, in, in Hiragana and stuff, but yeah, I don't know why they're all in English, that's real weird. <laughs> anyway, is English okay? I mean, it's not great, but it's the only language I can read, so I guess I'll have to go with it. <laughs> oh my goodness. This game automatically saves your progress. I mean... I should hope so, it's 2020. Okay, this art style's pretty cute. Uh, we got a Polypa flying up there. They are called Polypa, right? I think so. There's some Pidgeys. Or Pidgeots. Or Pidgeotos, I don't know. They look very similar. <laughs> Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX Demo. This music's nice. I don't know if this is based on the original game's music, because I can't remember the original game very well. Um, it sounds good though. <laughs> uh, let's see, 1995 to 2020 Nintendo Creatures Inc, blah blah blah. 1993 to 2020 Spike Chunsoft. Yeah, the Mystery Dungeon series is by Spike Chunsoft, I believe. Uh, admire illustration? <laughs> Yeah, you hold minus and it hides everything so you can admire the illustration. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> um, yes, I'll start an entirely new adventure. That's the only option, so let's go. <laughs> Welcome. This is the portal of the leads to the world of Pokemon. But before I can let you through, I have several questions for you. I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay. Let the interview begin. When the going gets tough, do you get going? Um, I mean, that's real vague. <laughs> um, this uh, this little personality quiz thing is designed to choose, help you pick which Pokemon you want to play as. Uh, in the original game, you had to go with the Pokemon that the quiz gave you. I believe in this one, you get to change it if the quiz gives you something you don't want. Do you like to noisily enjoy yourself with others? No, I'm pretty quiet. Uh, are there many things that you would like to do? Uh, yes? How quickly do you respond to a text? Um... 
I didn't get a lot of texts. I mean, it's it's 2020. Do people really text that much anymore? No reply may not. There was a scream from behind the door. How will you react? Uh, there's not a lot of options. Like, you can't just cower in fear. Um, do I recognize who's screaming? Because I might go and help them, or, you know, I might run away and hide somewhere, depending on who is screaming. <laughs> um, I scream in unison, that sounds funny. I don't know. You come across a treasure chest, how do you react? Uh, well, it could be a trap. Do you often yawn? Uh, yes, I guess. Does that make me a Snorlax? Or something? <laughs> Do others tell you to watch what you say? Uh, y yes, but it's weird because I don't say a whole lot, but... Girl, definitely girl. <laughs> There should be a neither option. I mean, it's 2020, but maybe that'll be in the full version, just not the demo. But we'll see. We'll see. You appear to be the hardy type. You do your homework diligently, and you know to eat properly. If you say so, you have strong willpower unless you complete tasks, however tough. But you can also be stubborn to the point of even feuding with friends. Okay, that's true. Nothing will go right for you when you're irritated, so learn to laugh it off. A hardy person like you should be... The Pokémon Pikachu! Oh, You appear to be the Pokémon Pikachu, is that correct? Let me think. I mean, Pikachu's very cute. I just want to see what the options are, though. No, that isn't right. Which Pokémon would you like to be? Yeah, so you get to pick any of them. Uh, let's see, what have we got? We got, uh, Cyndaquil, Totodile... Pikachu, Mudkip, Trico. Uh, I don't know if these are the same ones that were in the original or not. Uh, we got Psyduck, we got Chikorita, we got uh, Charmander, uh, Bulbasaur, Torchic. Was Cubone in the original? That's a really specific choice. Whatever. Uh, Meowth, Skitty, uh, Squirtle, Eevee, or Machop. I, I think Pikachu is a good choice. I just wanted to see what they all were. So let's go with Pikachu. Yes, exactly. Pika, Pika! This is the final step. Who would you like to have as a partner? Choose the Pokémon you want as your partner from this group. Who will be your partner? Okay, so this is all the same Pokémon except for Pikachu, which I picked. So yeah, you, you have a, um, a CPU player who is the second party member, basically. And they can be anyone you want. Uh, let me see... Go with an Eevee. We're playing Pokemon Let's Go. <laughs> uh, girl, I guess. So a girl Eevee, right? Sure. What is your partner's nickname? Uh... Didn't ask me for a name, it just went straight to my partner, which is weird. Also, the keyboard is alphabetical. I'm not a fan of that. Um... <laughs> Can I change it? Just use like a normal keyboard? It doesn't look like it. A oh, Y button, maybe? No, that's what just to that. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Well, that's with an E, so I don't know if I. Uh. I, th I think I probably want to use lowercase letters. In the older Pokemon games, you basically want to use all uppercase because everything else in the game will, and so your names look really out of place if you don't. Uh, there we go. That'll do. Uh, end. Eleanor, yes. I like that name, I don't know. It's, it's nice. Eleanor Shellstrop, she's lovely. Are these two alright? Yes. Okay, we're all set. Let's get you into the world of Pokémon. Go for it! So yeah, um... This game is, uh... What's it called? That that, 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 that that anime genre where it's like you've gone into an, another world. Isekai. This this game is an isekai. Um, you've gone into the world of Pokemon and transformed into a Pokemon. Where am I? Am I dreaming this? I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a voice from somewhere. 
I wonder who it is. Excuse me. Please wake up. Come on, wake up. You're finally awake. Great. I like this art style a lot. <laughs> Where is this? You were passed out here. I'm glad to see you awake. I'm Eleanor. Happy to meet you. And you are? I've never seen you around before. Huh? You say you're a human, but you look like a normal Pikachu in every way. <gasps> I'm a Pikachu. <laughs> ah! It, it's true. I have turned into a Pikachu. But why? I don't remember anything. Um, you're kind of weird. Your name? What's your name? My name. That's right, my name is... Well, I'm gonna put Danielle. Why is it an alphabetical keyboard? I really hate this. Like, again, it's 2020. They should know by now that keyboards should not be alphabetical. <sighs> it should let you pick, you know, QWERTY or Dvorak even. Or Colomac even, that's good too. Is Danielle okay? Yes. I'm okay. Oh, Danielle's your name. Well, isn't it a funny name? Oh, what? Shut up, Eleanor. <laughs> Somebody, please help me. Hmm? I heard shouts from over there. What's wrong? It's horrible! My caterpie fell into a cavern! My precious baby! What? A huge fissure opened in the ground and my caterpie fell in! He's too young to crawl out by himself. When I want to get my ba went to get my baby, Pokémon suddenly attacked me. Huh? You were attacked? By other Pokémon? I must be enraged by the fissure and out of control. That's what I think. I'm not strong enough to fend off these wild Pokémon. What will become of my baby? Oh, what am I to do? Oh dear, oh dear. This sounds bad. We have to go help. Tiny Woods, B1F. Okay, so this is the actual game now. Could this be a mystery dungeon? It is! It's a mystery dungeon! It's a Pokémon mystery dungeon. Rescue Team Deluxe. A mystery dungeon is truly a mysterious place. The layout and the items changed every time you enter. You can proceed by using the stairs, we have to find the stairs first. And you remember that Butterfree said Pokemon in the dungeon attack, right? If necessary, we have to fight. Let's do our best, Danielle. Try using the left stick to walk, you can also move with the D-pad button thingies. Interesting that it's showing a Joy-Con there, because I am holding a Pro Controller right now, I'm not using Joy-Cons. But I suppose they just figured it was pretty much the same layout anyway. So yeah, uh, like a normal roguelike, this game is turn-based. It's kind of hard to tell right now because we're just walking around, but uh, when you walk to another Pokémon like this, use move. Use a move with A. Uh, you'll notice that it is turn-based. Yeah! Oh, you know, you might not notice because I just killed him in one hit. Uh, you can move diagonally, so you probably do want to use the analog stick to make that easier. Um, since it's turn-based and you want to be efficient in terms of the turns you use. Yeah, you can see each time I move, the other Pokémon move as well. Because it is a turn-based game. Yes! <laughs> I'm still slow, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, you can see, uh, useful shortcuts. Oh, okay. If you hold down ZR, you can do some do various things by pressing the d-pad. That's handy. So yeah, um, it's very similar to games like NetHack, um, and Tiny Dungeon I mentioned, or Pocket Dungeon, or whatever it is. The, the one that's you can get on Android phones that's open source. I, I think it's called maybe Tiny Dungeon? I don't remember. 
Um, that's everything on this floor. I don't know if this level is randomized the first time you play. It might be fixed just to, like, simplify the tutorial. Would you like to go on? Yes. Tiny Woods, B2F. How to read the map. You, yellow. Teammates, green. Items, blue. Enemy Pokemon, red. Stairs, white. Electro Ball, take that! Poke is the money of this world. You can use it when you want to buy something. What's up to? Oh, interesting. Okay. You can press that R to like highlight keywords and look them up in a glossary. That's an interesting feature. I like it. That's a berry. I would like a berry. Eat an Orin Berry to restore some HP to eat one. Press X to open the X menu, then select Bag. Orin Berry restores HP. Additionally, increases your maximum HP during that adventure only. Interesting. Doesn't do that in the normal games. Press L for Auto Mode. Oh, I see. It just makes me explore automatically. Yeah, I'm not pressing any buttons right now. Uh, Pikachu's just wandering around by herself. Which is an interesting feature. When you encounter enemy Pokémon in auto mode, auto mode will end. Thank you, Eevee. <laughs> Sunkern fainted. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Let's go on. I don't know how long the tiny woods are. I think they're just a few floors. It's interesting that we're underground and it looks like we're not underground. It looks like we're in a forest. And yeah, I'm not controlling El like Eleanor. She follows me around and automatically goes to grab stuff and also attack by herself. I'm just controlling uh, Danielle, who is me. And you know, I'm not picking which move to use when I press the, the A button. I think you can configure that if you want. Yeah, you, you can adjust it to actually use specific moves if you want, but you can also just use... Oh, hang on. Yeah, if you just press A, it'll just pick the best move, I think. But you can also, like, hold down ZL and pick a specific move that way by the looks of things. I'm not sure what that number on the side there is that's counting down. Hopefully that's not important. Is it like my energy or something? I don't know. Head for the stairs. Um, no, I want to keep looking around. I don't know what that number means in the corner there. Hopefully it's not gonna like mess me up. Okay, um, I was an enemy to go this way. Bam! It's super effective. Pidgey fainted. Hope that's not like a turn limit. I can't remember what that, whether there was something like that in the original game or not. Okay, um, well I guess we've explored this floor now. Here is another enemy coming, which I'll probably take out for the experience. You do have experience in this game, uh, like in a traditional Pokemon. I forget if it works the same way or if it's different though. Down we go. Mwah. Mommy, where are you? <laughs> we came to rescue you. Huh? Your mom's waiting, let's get you out. Okay. Well, that's the end of the dungeon. Danielle successfully completed the rescue at Tiny Woods. My baby's safe. I'm sorry, I don't know how I could ever thank you properly. Oh, that's okay. It's been dangerous lately with sudden quakes and fissures like that one. It's great to find your little boy unharmed. Please, may I have your names at least? I'm Eleanor. And this is Danielle. Cool. He's, uh, staring at me adoringly. Those sparkly eyes. It's a little embarrassing. But 
This doesn't feel bad either. It's like I'm a hero. Helping Pokemon in trouble might be a good experience. Thank you, Eleanor and Danielle. Uh, I know it isn't really enough, but this is a token of our thanks. Please accept it. You got a tiny Reviver Seed. You got a Petra Berry. You got 500 Poke. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank you for helping. You're very tough. I was sure impressed. So, what are you going to do? Do you have any plans? Listen, Daniel. If you don't have a place to stay, you should come with me. Well, this is the place. Wow! I can't explain, but I'm happy! I'm a human being, but I like this place. Am I really? Am I a human being? <laughs> oh, I feel weirdly happy. Might be an instinct thing for Pokemon. Maybe this is what it feels like to want to wag your tail. It doesn't matter, I'm happy. Maybe I feel that way because I'm a Pikachu. Oh, Danielle, you're impressed, aren't you? <laughs> I thought so. I thought this would make a good place for you to live, Danielle. I was sure you would like it. Thank you, Eleanor. This is your mailbox. They deliver mail from other Pokémon here. Many Pokémon are suffering from these natural disasters, just like the fissure Caterpie fell into. There have been all sorts of natural disasters recently. I want to do good. I want to help Pokémon like that. I want to help make the world a safer place for Pokémon. So, um, while I saw how good you were when you rescued Caterpie, would you like to form a rescue team with me? I think we could be the world's number one rescue team, Danielle. What do you think? Heck yeah, let's do it. Okay, done deal! From now on, Danielle, we're partners in our rescue team. I'm so glad. The team's name is... I haven't decided on one. Listen, Danielle, what would be a good name for us? Hmm, well, not Lightfoot, it's boring. Let's go with, uh... The Sapphic Rescue Team. Is Sapphic okay? Hell yeah. <laughs> Sapphic! I like it, it's such a good name, it's perfect! Oh, one more thing. I wanted to wear this on the day I got started on a rescue team. I have two of them, so let's put them on! What are you wearing? Daniel put on the scarf she got from Eleanor. Oh, looks great! You wear it well, Danielle. Don't you feel focused, like we're on the same team together? Rescue Team Sapphic. Let's do good, starting tomorrow. Oh, That's cute. <laughs> and that is how... Danielle and Eleanor began their careers together. As a rescue team. Is that the end of the demo, or...? It's just like showing the title screen. Because that's the big end of, like, the intro. The next morning. Okay, it's still going. Cool. Had to be a bit short if it were just the whole demo there. I'm still the same. The way I look, I'm still a Pikachu. But why would I be transformed into a Pokémon? Hmm, I don't understand this at all. Oh, that's right. That Pokémon. I think it was Eleanor? We made a promise to form a rescue team together. I wonder what Eleanor is doing. I should go out. Okay, so we can walk around in any direction. This is not turn-based. We just have free will to move around however we like. It's not grid-based either. Uh, unlike when you're in an actual Mystery Dungeon and then it becomes grid-based and turn-based and all those familiar things. Uh, you can press X to bring this up. Uh, I can change the menu layer, but that just moves it up a little bit, so I'm not really sure what the point of that is. Uh, let's look at the options. I can change the volume, I can change the map, I can change the grid, walking speed. Uh, I'm guessing there's going to be more options because it says basic 1 and basic 2. I might unlock some more stuff later. I guess those default settings are probably fine. Uh, 
Da, 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 da. Yeah, the tiny reviver seed will revive a fainted Pokemon. It turns into a plain seed once it revives a Pokemon. A plain seed, uh, you can eat it and it just it just counts as food but doesn't do very much else. Petra Berry uh, heals poison. Oran Berry heals HP. Uh, let's go head out and hang on, let's see. Yeah, it does have analog movement here. I'm tilting the stick just a little bit and you can see I go slower. So you do want to use the stick in, um, outside of dungeons. Yeah. What were you sleeping outside? Oh, Sweetie. Huh? Oh no! <gasps> Sorry! I was so excited about today, I've been waiting here since dawn! I must have fallen asleep. Oh, I see. You actually did go to bed and then... You woke up and came here to, to see me because you're so excited because you're a cutie. <laughs> anyway, today marks the start of our rescue team. Let's always do our best. But, um, we don't have any job offers yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe there's something in the mailbox. It looks pretty full to me. Eleanor, check the mailbox. The mailbox contained a Rescue Team Starter Set. I knew it'd be there! It's the Rescue Team Starter Set! I always give you one if you start a Rescue Team. But who? Who, who gives you one? And how did they know we started a Rescue Team? But did you go tell someone, like, off-screen, or what? <laughs> Eleanor opened the Rescue Team Starter Set. There was a Rescue Team badge inside. There was a toolbox inside, too. There's also an issue of Pokémon News inside. Yes! There are some good things here! First of all, the rescue- first off, the rescue team badge. It shows that we're a rescue team. This is the toolbox. Use it to carry items you find in dungeons. Let's put the stuff Butterfree gave us in here for now. Items are very useful, so let's use them on our adventures. And finally, a copy of the Pokémon News. It's useful, useful for rescue teams. I'll put the Pokémon News in the mailbox, you should read it later on. Anything else? Is there any other mail? Maybe not. And I'll check the mailbox. The mailbox was empty. Hmm. Okay, so there isn't any mail for us after all. If there were any rescue jobs, we would be getting mail, but nobody knows about us since we're such a new team, I guess. <laughs> flap, flap. Oh, I wonder what it could be. It's a polypa! Clunk! <gasps> we got letters! Oh, I can move around now. Danielle, please check the mailbox! Oh, I can't leave, I have to check the mailbox. Could this be... Danielle, will you check the mailbox, please? Maybe it's a rescue job offer! What does it say? Danielle read the letter. Bzz, bzz, bzz. I heard about you from Caterpie. Please, we need your help. Magnemite is in trouble. A strange electromagnetic wave flowed through a dungeon, and it stuck Magnemite and Magnemite together. That isn't enough to form a Magneton. It's not complete the way it is now. Please, we need help. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Magnemite's friend. What do you think? Do you think we should go? Yes, let's go! That's the spirit. Let's do our best. Thunderwave Cave. Oh, you are here. Bzz, bzz, bzz. My friends are in this cavern. Bzz, bzz, bzz. My friends should be on B6F. Please help them. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Okay, here we go. Thunderwave Cave it is. B1F. Do, 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 do. Hold B and press L to dash. Woohoo! <laughs> That's very fast. If your belly is feeling empty, eat an apple to recover. If your belly reaches zero, your HP will go down every time you make a move. Is that is that uh orange bar the belly? You can press B to open your toolbox. It's quicker than going from the X menu. Can I? I'm pressing it. Oh I see. I'm guessing the belly is that, uh, number next to my HP up there where it says 95, because it was just going down by itself. Probably me getting hungry. 
rats are fainted. Give me the berry. Put it in the toolbox. I have grass moves? I'm a Pikachu. Alright. <laughs> Not to go on? Yes. Thunderway pay V2F. If you face multiple enemies at once, retreat to a corridor to fight them one at a time. Yeah, because it's grid based. You want to back up a little bit like this. For every one move you make in a dungeon, your opponent will also make one move. Turns always go in order. On the other hand, if you don't move, neither will your opponent. Take your time and choose your actions wisely. Yeah, this whole game is turn based. Bolt or painted. You might need to eat soon, but not for a while. My belly's pretty full. <laughs> hold R and use L to. Okay, so you can hold the R button to go diagonally like this. It also shows you the entire grid, which is nice. I think it's an option to just turn the grid on all the time if you want that. So you can do it with the D-pad D-pad or the analog if you want, probably. Hold down zero and choose which move you want to use with A, B, X, or Y. Okay, so yeah, I can pick a particular move. Uh, for example, uh, Iron Tail. Like that. Or you can just press A and I think it just chooses the best possible move. I'm not really sure. B3F of Thunderweb Cave. If you're a dungeon and fail in your adventure, you'll lose all the items and poke money you're carrying. Yeah, um, it's, it doesn't have permadeath, but you do lose quite a bit when you fail, so you'd have to be careful. What is that thing? Wonder Tile. When you step on a Wonder Tile in a dungeon, your lowered stats will return to normal, but if your stats have been boosted, they'll also return to normal, so watch out. Orin Berry, put it in the toolbox. Uh, hello Voltorb. Uh, was it R to move diagonally? Yes. The Pokemon can't use moves, its travel speed also goes down. The status was it wears off after a while, or it may sometimes wear off when taking damage. Electric type Pokemon won't get this status. That's handy. That Voltorb is kind of strong. Um, I'm going to eat a berry or something. Cool. That's better. Yeah, I think you probably want to play with the D-pad for the most part, because it's a lot more precise in terms of diagonals and stuff, since this game is grid-based. It's mi is, that, is that plus L or Minin? I can never remember which one's which. It's one of them. It's Minin. M minin? Yeah, it's, it's minus, so Minin would be better. Probably. You can set stones or spikes to throw by opening the X menu and go into your toolbox. Select the item, then ZL, ZR, register it. You'll be able to throw it pressing ZL and ZR at the same time. Your teammates will be able to throw the item too. Yeah, let's register those rocks we just got. Sounds like a good idea. Register. Um, I don't know if our teammate is going to want to like throw them at stuff. We'll see. Oh, I have a stat. I should probably step on the Wonder Tile too. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Well done, Eleanor. <laughs> I didn't even see there was an enemy there. That's pretty great. I wonder if I can hide this bottom part where it's telling me useful shortcuts and stuff, but also taking up some space on the screen. Level up! Eleanor's now level 6 and got some bad stats. Awesome, I leveled up! Good for you, Eleanor. 
do 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 Yes, I'd like to go on to the next level. You can change the leader, the Pokémon you control, by pressing plus to be able to control Pokémon other than just the hero. You can check how to play by pressing the minus button, you can find a lot of good tips for adventure in there. Okay, so I can just press plus and it instantly switches me over to Eleanor instead of me. So that's cool. Uh... Oh, level up! I'm level 6 now. I leveled up! I don't know how I knew that, like... Right, how do Pokémon know what their levels are? This is something I'm wondering about. <laughs> I wonder if I think the leader's belly goes down. That might be a good reason to switch leaders. I'm gonna run out of rocks soon. <laughs> We're gonna have a few. Uh... I don't know if I'm slow when I'm pushing Eevee around or if that's just how it works. I'm not really sure. I can't move diagonally through that hole, apparently. To get Poochie out of the way. Uh, Poochie, get to get him, Eleanor out of the way. Eevee. <laughs> Poochie is a different Pokemon. If I press L now, will it auto to the stairs? Yeah, it will. I do want to explore everything first. Let's just switch leaders, because I'm running a bit low. Yeah, it looks like only Eleanor's belly is going down, so that's handy. Doesn't make a lot of sense if you think about it for like a second, but it's useful. <laughs> Go, Electro Ball. Alright. Make attack. Fake out. Missed. Sand attack. My accuracy went down. Swift attack. Excellent. <laughs> Let's head back to these one tiles to fix my accuracy. There we go. So yeah, you get the idea of the game at this point, I imagine. Uh, and yeah, you can use dash like this to go faster. There we go. Level 5. Making good progress. There's something good there. What is it? I think it's a regular Reviver Seed. Oh no, it's another tiny Reviver Seed, okay. We got some more Gravel Rocks too. R gravel Rock. Gravel, oh, Gravel Rock. Like, like the Pokemon Gravel. Yeah, that makes sense. Enemy defeated, yeah. Through the Gravel Rock. Let's go down this way now. Don't want to miss anything that's good in the dungeon. Do -do -do. This is the second dungeon in the game, so it won't be too hard, I expect. Mine and fainted. Keep thinking it says minin, but it's minus, so it would be minin. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> oh my goodness. I guess I'd like to go on. Okay, so we're on 6F now. I don't know if there'll be like a boss or something. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, there they are! Let's get them out safely! That's the end. Dungeon cleared. Eleanor successfully completed the job at Thunder Wave Cave. Our bodies separated. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Rejoice! Bzz, bzz, bzz. Yay! Bzz, bzz, bzz. Yay! Bzz, bzz, bzz. Be thankful, you too. You are our heroes. Thank you. Bzz, bzz, bzz. You got a you got a big apple. I assume that fills your belly more than a little apple. An Orenberry, six hundred and fifty poke. It's interesting that the money, like the symbol, always goes before the amount, but you always say it after when you pronounce it. Like you say five dollars, even though it's like dollar sign five. It's interesting. I'm so glad our rescue mission went, well, went so well today. I need to confess, since that was our first job as a rescue team, I was really, really nervous. Uh, I can't believe how tired I am. I'm gonna go home and get some sleep. Let's do good again tomorrow. See you! Sleepy Pika. Have a snooze.
Where... Where am I? Maybe... Is this a dream? Oh, there's someone here. Who is it? Someone I know? Hmm... I can't remember. I think I dreamt something? But I can't quite remember what that dream was about. Oh well, today's another day of rescues. I wonder if I have any mail. Better check the mailbox. Oh, you can actually run by holding B. Oops, better check the mailbox. Daniel checked the mailbox, but there was no mail seeking help from the rescue team. Good morning, Danielle. Aren't you up early? Oh, so you checked the mailbox? So was there anything? Were there any rescue requests? Huh? There's nothing? Hmm, I guess that makes sense. After all, we've only just begun. Oh well, we should go to Pokemon Square. We should check the Pelipper Post Office. Pelipper? Pel- 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 Pelipper. It's Pelipper, because Pelican, yeah. I think they'll have jobs posted. Pokemon Square is over here, let's go! Yeah, the tutorial is kind of long. I remember this being the case in the original game. This is Pokemon Square. Sure is. That's the Kecleon shop. You can buy and sell items there. That's Felicity Bank. You can save your, your Pokemon money there. City has safe if you have coin. <laughs> this is the golf and link shop. Golf and can link moves for you. Huh? What's linking? Well, if you link moves, you can use them together at the same time. You should just ask Golpin for details. This is Kangaskhan Storage. If you store items here, they'll be safe. You should store important items here before you go out to a dungeon. And over there is the Makuhita Dojo. At the dojo, you can learn or get training on various maneuvers used in dungeons. What do you think? The businesses here help us. Oh, and there's also the, the Palapa Post Office. That's up past here. I think we can get rescue of information there. So, how about we go to the Palapa Post Office first? Your partner will tell you all kinds of things. You're not sure where to go, just ask your partner. Okay, I think I'm a bit free to go around now. Huh? Are you going home early? We haven't gone to the Palapa Post Office yet. Let's go to the Palapa Post Office at least. Okay, well I can't leave Pokemon Square, but I think I can talk to some Kecleons and stuff. Hello! Welcome to the Kecleon Shop! Take all the time you like! So we can buy more rocks. Uh, or some apples. I assume it's here multiple times because you can't actually buy more of it than there actually is here in the list. Um, yeah, I don't need any of those. What about this Kecleon? Welcome to Kecleon Wares, where you can find TMs. Uh, my team is sparkly. It means one of your teammates can learn a move from that TM. You can check which teammate is for pressing plus. Okay, so I can teach myself Thunder. I've already got four moves, so I don't know if I want to buy Thunder right now. I also can't afford these. I don't have enough Poke yet. No, oh, thank you, Kecleon. Kecleon. There's Kangaskhan storage. Over here is just a little house. Can I go in? Apparently not. That's weird. Okay, so yeah, pressing, holding down B lets you sprint around like this instead of going at normal pace, which is nice. Uh, y button does nothing. A button is how you talk to people and stuff. X opens this menu, which we saw earlier. And it looks the same. Oddly enough, the toolbox was showing up here before we got it. Which is kind of weird, but... Go off, I guess. <laughs> uh, is there a button to, like, sort? Yes, there is. Y button. Awesome. Let's group everything together. Uh, status. 
yeah, so we don't need to heal outside of dungeons. We automatically heal the full health, which is nice. I'm not sure if we can turn our moves off here or not. I can see little checkboxes. I think there's a way to switch off moves if you don't want to use them. And then they won't automatically be picked. Plus does nothing, minus gives you the how to play menu. Uh, L and R do nothing, Z, L and Z, R do nothing. So there you go. Uh, hello, Bellsprout. There was a forest fire not too long ago, not long ago. It was terrible. Luckily, Blastoise and Feraligator were able to douse it quickly. But it could have been much worse if they were slower getting there. There's Snubble. There's Goldwyn. Uh, there's another house over there we can't go to because of the walls. I do really like this art style. I think it looks cool really gorgeous. Uh, I believe a, a new shop shows up here later in the game, but I forget what. Uh, and the post office is over here. That building is the Palapa post office. Looks like a Palapa. So that makes sense. <laughs> this is where information is gathered from Pokemon needing rescue. See? Have a look at this bulletin board. It lists rescue jobs, check it out. Bulletin board. Okay, so yeah, you can see all the different task uh, quests you can play. You can pick based on how long they are and how difficult they're going to be, uh, and the reward and all sorts of stuff like that. Not a whole lot to do yet. There's a mine in there. Oh, Poochyan is scared of the dungeon, that's so sweet. Poochyana, don't you have Intimidate? I mean, some Poochyanas do. I don't think they all do. Uh, in that one, you're not supposed to just get to the level. Uh, most of these, you're just supposed to get to the level they're on. In this one, you have to actually find a hidden item, which is interesting. I'm not sure if that means we just have to go to B2F and get the item there, or... It's from Plusle. Hmm. If I just press B, what happens? See? There were jobs listed, right? If you want to do a rescue job, choose the job and then go to the dungeon that's indicated. You can go to the dungeons by taking the path near the base. While we're starting out, we should handle the jobs that are posted here. Doing that should get our team some recognition. That should pull in job offers to our mailbox soon. Uh, can you actually go into the post office? Pelipper post office can't be used in the demo version, you can use it in the full game. Okay, so we can't go in there, uh, but we will be able to when the full game's out, which is not yet, as I mentioned. Uh, let's take one, one of these jobs. If I go to accepted jobs, that should be empty, right? Yeah, you have no no accepted jobs. Are there only four? Because it's accepted zero of eight, which suggests there should be more. But, eh, I don't know. I'll take that one. Uh, it's the only one that's in Tiny Woods, so I'll just do that for now. Okay, we're now allowed to move around. And, I guess, go every direction. Let's go down here. Uh, there's the, um, Makuhita Jojo. What about up this way? Oh, hello! I've heard fishes are ripping up in the ground here and there. They're trouble for everyone. It worries me to no end, thinking that children will fall down into them. I'm not quite sure why they chose to remake uh, Red and Blue Rescue Team as this game, rather than Explorers of Sky and Darkness. Apparently those games had a much more interesting and detailed story, so I don't know if they're going to like port some of that into this game, or if it's the first game's stories. The first game's stories, plural, yeah. So I don't know really know what to expect. Um, so far, I think this is basically the same as Red Rescue Team, the one I already played, so... You can head to the dungeons from that road. Once we receive a job, let's go to the dungeon and solve the Pokémon's troubles. Uh, what if I go this way? There's no, dungeon, there's no dungeon over there, Danielle. So I can't go that way. Rescue Team Camps. I assume I'll unlock that later. It might not be in the demo either. We'll see. There are sparkles around the dungeon name. That's a sign that you'll get a lot of stuff. You can get almost twice the normal amount of money in a lot of treasure boxes. Oh yeah, I can see Tiny Woods sparkling. Uh, I can press Y like this to just look at the map. Uh, I can't really do anything while doing that. You can check what jobs you've accepted. Um, 
And yeah, we'll just go into Tiny Woods and do the job I already accepted. I think you can do multiple jobs in one visit, but there was only one in Tiny Woods, so that's the one we're going to be doing. Picked up 48, okay. Let's try going this way, and then we'll go down this way. Good throw. Well done, Eleanor. Orin Barry put it in the toolbox. Lecture ball. It's super effective. I want to keep looking around. There might be more treasure. Maybe in the middle here. No, there's nothing in the middle. It's a bit boring. Uh, I guess we're pretty much done here. Uh, get out of the way, Evie. Sun can use absorb. Ooh, that's not good. Sunken painted. Let's go down to the next level now. <laughs> I think we just have to get to B3F, I think. The messages in the bottom right of the screen will tell you what's happening in the dungeon. If you want to check past messages, go to message log from others in the X menu. You arrived at the floor where Wormpool is. Okay, so we have to get to Wormpool. Oh, the X menu's a bit more detailed here. Status, move settings, tactics meeting. Underfoot? Oh yeah, that's what you're standing on, basically. What item is there? Look around. Look around lets you select items at a distance and see what they are, I believe. It's not telling me what things are, but it's letting me look a bit further than I normally could, so I guess that's cool. You can also just activate that by tapping the right stick in a direction by the looks of things. That's nice. Quick attack attack! <laughs> Tiny Reviver Seed We need to save Wumple who is over here w Why is Wumple in danger? I can't see anything in this room It looks very safe Um, do I need to push it? Yeah, you found the Wumple you were looking for Job completed Thank you Please come see me at the Palapa Post Office later Daniel held up the rescue team badge. Wormple gained a magical power. Yeah, the rescue team badge lets people teleport out of the dungeon, basically. Wormple left the dungeon. Would you like to exit the dungeon now? Yeah. Including us. We can just warp out whenever we want. Daniel successfully completed the job at Tiny Woods. Thank you for rescuing me. This is your reward. A gold ribbon, a power drink, and 100 poke. The items you received have been sent to storage. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. The next morning. Good morning, Danielle. Let's do our best today. <gasps> What's happening? Huh? What's going on? Tunnel over here. Tunnel over there. Tunnels everywhere. Woohoo! Digging is so much fun. Uh, um, where am I? Hey, what's going on? Oh my, my apologies. My name is Diglett. I mean, if that's what Pokemon you are, do you have a name as well, or...? I guess not. I was having a blast digging through and cutting tunnels in front of the Pelipper Post Office. So much that I kept on digging and ended up here. I'm sorry I ruined your nice place. <laughs> Don't worry about it, it's just a hole. Are you saying you'll forgive me? Too many holes might annoy others, so don't dig too many. Of course, thank you. Cute. From now on I'll have fun digging, but I'll also make sure to patch up the holes from time to time. Goodbye. Elipa is here with more letters for us. Let's see what they are. Clunk da 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 da. Oh, I can go in the hole. Oh, okay, so I can warp to the Palapa Post Office real fast. That's handy. Check the mail for what we got. Um, 
and it's just some Pokemon news stuff. That seems to be all there is. Let's have a look at it. Welcome to Rescue Team. Your badge has the power to send back to town any Pokemon you've rescued. Just hold the badge up and it does the rest. Yeah, we saw that. By adventuring, by advancing to adventure, we awarded points to raise your team's ranking. Aim for the bronze rank for now. If you have dojo tickets, you can train your train at the Makuhita Dojo. At the Makuhita Dojo, your moves grow more than they do in dungeons, especially if people are hitting the foe with super effective moves. You can expect to grow a lot. You can also learn the controls of the dojo for free. Check out the Makuhita Dojo when you want to learn how to move. Wow, the letter contained three bronze dojo tickets. Sorry, two. <laughs> Two bronze dojo tickets. Uh, I don't know if that's the same as the original or if this is like a new microtransaction y thing. It sounds a little bit like the stuff in Smash Ultimate, which I really hate and is super microtransaction y, even though that game doesn't have microtransactions. Hopefully that's just how the game used to work. I'm not sure. If you don't if you don't read your Pokemon news, your mailbox will get full and you won't get the latest issue of the news or any job mail. Sometimes Pokemon news comes with a gift, so make sure to read it often. Inbox is empty now. Okay. Well, we're done. Do, 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 do. Let's go into town and... Actually, am I allowed to go the other way now? Maybe. Let's have a look. Nope. I might need to play a bit further to unlock that path. Ludicolo? Danielle, we should stick with the jobs posted on the bulletin board for the time being. When you get a request, let's go to the dungeon and do the job. Okay, let's see if I can queue up all three of these at once. I think I probably can. Oh, hang on, there's more. There's now four. Uh, let's try accepting all of them and see what happens. Oh, that one's in Tiny Woods. Eh, doesn't matter. Let's just take all of them. Jump in the hole and then go to the south. <laughs> Okay, so we've got three jobs in Thunderweb Cave, we've got one job in Tiny Woods. Let's go to the cave. Thunderweb Cave. Ba -da -da -da. I don't remember what we had to do in the cave. Picked up 33 per cave. There's a vault orb over there. Let's attack it until it dies. I don't get Paralyzed, so I'm okay. Let's do it again. Okay. <laughs> Nidoran used Growl. Sorry, Nidoran Venus used Growl. Faster than the foe is the power I'll need to step on a wonder tile to remove the effects of Growl. Cause it doesn't go away at the end of a battle like it does in normal Pokemon. Cause that would be weird in this game. Since you don't go into a separate battle mode, you're just always in turn-based battle mode. Uh. I've forgotten what I was trying to do. Can I look at the jobs somewhere? Is an option for that? Yeah, jobs. Okay, so there's something on B2F, something on B3, and something on B4. So nothing on this level. Okay, let's just head on down then. I forgot the floor where Minin is. Well, Minin's right there, so I'm gonna save him. Hi, Minin. You found the Minin you were looking for. Job completed. Thank you. Please come see me at the Pelipper Post Office later. Hold up the badge. Goodbye, Minin. Uh, no, I don't want to escape. Let's keep going. So, yeah, you can do multiple requests in one visit if you have a desire to do so. over there, Eleanor. <laughs> okay, the stairs are over that direction, so let's head that way. Yeah, vault are scary. Ugh. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, no, I'm healing automatically. We don't need to worry too much, then. Alright. I'm unfamiliar with how this game works. <laughs> Let's go on to the next level. I'm guessing there's one job in each level. That's the impression I'm getting anyway. On this floor, Puchiana is waiting for a max ether to be delivered. 
pretty sure I do have a Max Aether, so we should be okay. <laughs> Grab the money. Uh, gave a Max Aether. Yay, you gave a Max Aether to Poochie and a job completed. Do 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 do. <laughs> Thank you so much. Then they warp out. I don't know why they couldn't just get a Max Aether after leaving the dungeon, but there you go. No, let's not escape. Let's go do the other one. Because of the belly system, you probably don't want to spend too long in each dungeon when you visit it. The floor where Nidoran Venus is over there. Alright. Um. Eevee. You wanna help? Okay, cool. <laughs> Packed up the Max Aether, which replaces the one that I gave to Gucciana. He's knit around Venus. I knit around Venus. Job completed now. Thank you. Please come see me at the colorful post office later. Magic power. And we're done. Let's go. Oh, we're not. Hang on. Can I just press like exit at any time? I thought I could. Maybe I can't. Huh. Maybe I can't. Okay. Um, anyway, we'll just have to go to the end of the dungeon in that case, I guess. Okay, when you get to the stairs, you can escape. That makes sense. Oops. The default options are a little confusing. <laughs> oh well, we're doing another level of the dungeon, so I get to the stairs again. Um... Over here, let's go to the stairs. Oh, you can't... Okay, I have to go on. Alright, I think this is the last level anyway. Yeah. Daniel's successfully completed the job at Thunder Wave Cave. Yay! Thank you for rescuing me. This is your reward. Thanks, mining. Special band and 100 poke. Sent to storage. Thank you for delivering a Max Aether. This is your reward. A violent seed and a perfect apple. And 100 poke. Thank you for rescuing me. This is your reward. Training seed, all protect orb, and 100 poke. Turn to storage. Yeah. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. So yeah, this game looks really great. Um, I'm looking forward to the full game. I think I'm going to get it. Um, but so far... It's, it's, I like it. Um, I feel like the visuals, like, the, the art style is really good, but maybe it could be a bit higher res or something? I don't know. I'll probably get used to it. Again? Am I dreaming again? It's that Pokemon again. Huh? They're talking to me? I can't hear them clearly. What are they saying? Huh? It's shaking. An earthquake? Whoa, it's getting worse. For a dream, this feels strangely real, but... I'm guessing that's like a prediction of the future or something. The next morning... Yawn. Uh, hello? You said that. Uh, hello, uh, you are Danielle, aren't you? I am. Oh, you can't see us, of course. How very rude of us. Oh, we're pleased to meet you. We are Doug Trio. Doug Trio plural. Nice. Last night during the earthquake, our child Diglett was attacked. What? Diglett? He was whisked away to the peak of a tall mountain. But he couldn't possibly climb somewhere so high up. That is why we must call upon you for your help, Danielle. Diglett was abducted by a Pokemon named Skarmory. It's a vilely vicious ruffian. Please do be careful. Please, we need your help. We must go. Goodbye, Doug Trio. <gasps> that was so sudden, there was no time to even say no. But I am concerned to hear that Diggler has been kidnapped. It's too bad, I better go. Good morning, Danielle. Huh? You were just asked to go on a rescue mission? Yes. Oh. 
A child, Diglett, was kidnapped. He was taken to Mount Steele's summit. Please, we need your help. Bye-bye. How'd they dig up through the stone pathway? <laughs> uh, okay. Wait, Diglett was the one digging holes here, right? This kidnapping is worrisome. Let's go! That's it for the demo version, you can play further in the full game. You can look around the town freely. To get to the main menu, choose others from the X menu and choose, and then save and go to main menu. Okay, so we can't go to Mount Steel. Um, I guess that's where the game ends. <laughs> so that's the demo for you. Um, I like it a lot. I'm probably going to pick up the full title when it comes out because it's fun. Um, there's a couple more quests I can do too. I can probably accept these and continue with them. Uh, I can't go into the Pelipper post office, but we already knew that. Uh, can I go this way yet? No, I'm guessing that unlocks later on in the game, and the demo ends here, so, yeah. So yeah, I think you can still go to the areas we already went to. Let's have a quick look. Oh no, I can't. Huh. Alright, well, I guess that's the end of the game. <laughs> uh, this demo is much, much shorter than the one for Dragon Quest Builders 2, but it looks good. Uh, the game isn't done yet, so I guess that's why they made the demo real short. Um, because, yeah not, you know, a completed game ready for release or anything, so they haven't got it all developed yet. Oh, okay, so that's what that section does. I can put a shortcut on ZR plus a direction. That's neat. Cool. Um, I guess that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. I'm looking forward to this. It looks really nice, and it's a cool game. I, I really enjoyed the Mystery Dungeons, like, originally. I didn't play that much of them, but I liked them, and I'm looking forward to playing more of them. And this one is real cute. It is kind of a shame to switch from pixel art to these, like... Uh, like, they're, they're 3D models, but it looks kind of hand-drawn, I don't know. The style is nice, but I really do miss pixel art, because the pixel art in the original was really nice. Uh, so that's a shame. But yeah, this new style is very good too. I don't know if it's hand-drawn or what, but it's, it's pretty. Anyway, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you're also looking forward to the full game when it comes out, I think, in March. Okay, if it's, if it's coming out in March, I'm going to be playing Animal Crossing, so I probably won't get to this for a while, but... <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye! Oh, hang on, I want to see what these other options are before we go. Uh, we've got continue, friend rescue. You can rescue teammates and friends who have fainted. I think that's like a multiplayer mode of some sort. Wonder mail. Oh. Okay, these aren't available yet. Oh, I can change names at any time. Okay. That's cool. That, that's actually very nice. Um... I don't think I can change genders as well, which is a shame, but changing names is a good start. My illustration. Oh, it's really cute. I do really like the illustrations, which so it's very fitting that they have that admire illustration button in the game. I found there's only one save slot, by the way, because I only got uh, delete save data here. I can't like switch slots or anything. Unless I'm just missing something. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's all there is. Anyway, um, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.